Good morning, my crypto crackheads and cryptillions. Uh, today is March 4th, 2021, and get ready to get timified. So this video is going to cover uh, big coins, uh, your your top three coins uh, price action. I'll try to keep this under 10 minutes, uh, fast and uh, fast and fur furious for you. Uh, so in one of my previous videos, I let y'all know that uh, the thing to look out for is the four hour death cross on Ethereum and most importantly uh, that uh, roughly 20, perhaps even as much as 30% of any year in crypto, it follows uh, Ethereum specifically. It doesn't follow Bitcoin at times. Uh, so one coin, um, essentially what is happening with the price action, it drives price action for everything else, even Bitcoin, because uh, bots, uh, trading bots across, you know, Binance and all, and uh, uh, Bitfinex, uh, all the all the big leverage trading sites, especially, um, they, they keep, they maintain ratios, but, you know, between um, Litecoin to Bitcoin, so silver to gold or Ethereum to, uh, Ethereum to Bitcoin. And so if, if Ethereum's leading price action, uh, then those ratios are going to drive price action on Bitcoin too. So that's what's happening right now. Um, so Ethereum is absolutely leading the market. Uh, we, so on my charts, the um, blue line, the blue line is uh, the the 55 exponential moving average. All right. And then this orange line is the 200 exponential moving average. And if you don't know what those are and you're into crypto, you need to know what those are. You simply go to tradingview.com, uh, hit indicators, and then type in EMA, SMA, and look for the one that says crown, and that's what you get. And then uh, look where my mouse is. If you hover there, hit the gear. You can change all your inputs to something like this. You, for EMAs, these are the values that are typically used, and then you can change the color right so anyway we have the four hour death cross um, and as my previous videos have stated over and over and over price always gets sucked in to crosses so if if price were you know uh, even on a death cross price typically isn't above it because it won't be doing that but if an important cross happens below price action price gets sucked into it bounces off goes up or if price is below a, a certain very important cross like a death cross particularly price almost always almost a hundred percent of the time gets sucked into it because the bots uh so what the bots are doing is they're trying to trick people to get bullish hey the, the dip is over and they're buying up here buying up here and the bots are taking their money um and uh that's exactly what's happening it's just people getting wrecked um putting on longs and stuff uh and uh that, that so this is this is what's happening um now uh if you want to try to figure out so this is still playing out folks it's, it's simply still playing out so if you want to try to figure out um on a coin with a lot of price history something like <clears throat> um ethereum or bitcoin or uh, litecoin um not so much yeah maybe even cardano cardano has been around since late 2017 um but if you want to try to figure out hey what's going to be happening here um how is this death cross going to play out you want to go to the weekly um, and make it so that you can see years of price history like this. Um, so you always want to be able to look left, look left. I think this way should be left to you. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, so look here, look, so see the horizontal line moving up and down with my cursor that goes all the way across the screen. All right. And then, uh, at the right, very right hand side of the, of the line, it has price moving, you know? So right now it says 1333 at the very right hand side. Okay. So line it up to where you see a lot of candle bodies on the weekly and that's a resistance and support price typically likes to hit those things when it's correcting or whatever and forming a base. So we have a huge 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 screaming area at 1386 for uh for um ethereum so uh and so resistance support and candle bodies okay that's one big thing the next thing you want to look at is your big moving averages especially the 21 on the weekly the 10 and the 21 on the, on the weekly during a bear market are your typically your plays uh bear markets uh it's it's the dark it's these ones down here but during a bear, bull market price typically isn't ever going to touch these on the weekly on the daily they will on the daily when um when the weekly 21 is hit oftentimes the daily 200 is roughly where that is so the weekly is at uh, 1096 let's see where the daily 200 is so it is 150 dollars off um so those typically align you know fairly well but anyway so 
we got 1386 as a potential, hey, you know, just retest where we already retested, really, and then accumulate, accumulate, and go. So that that is one potential case scenario. Or look over here, these candle bodies created resistance, and then this candle body had resistance, resistance support. Um, price checked the support on this red candle and went up. Uh, or this candle technically went down, but but it price checked, bounced up, and then the next weekly candle was high. So our next uh, area of interest is 1240. So those are your two horizontals based off of weekly candle supports. Um, now and then we have a ton of support down here. So if we're going to get a deep correction, it's going to be about here 962. So this is like your bearish. Um, and if price does come down here, that's that's a hell of a buying opportunity, really. And this is not financial advice. This is just random dude on the internet uh, speaking to himself in recording. So. So, so your middle target is about 1260 or so. And then the next thing after candle bodies you want to look at is your uh, moving averages. So a lot of times the bots uh, and most price action people, whether you like it or not, it's not made by humans, okay? Because humans are making bots and they're making money while they sleep. So you have to play by the rules of the bots. But anyway, um, so what price often likes to do, you know, as I've covered in most of my videos, is it likes to uh, not hit a level until a moving average hits it. All right. So, but what that also helps price do is accumulate in a range and then come down and tag the important uh, weekly 21 or the weekly 10 when at the same time it's crossing or hitting into a key candle support on the weekly candle support and resistance so i think the mo the biggest likelihood here of what's going to play out over the boring month of march i think this is going to be a boring month it's going to be an accumulation month accumulation at the top end of a range or bitcoin's case um two times its range. Uh, so really, if you think Ethereum is more bullish than Bitcoin, you're wrong. Um, so, you know, on a percentage basis, just real quick, you know, yes, Ethereum has gone up higher, but it's because it dipped more aggressively. Um, and um, so uh, Bitcoin is two times past its all-time high and Ethereum is at its all-time high. So Bitcoin's price action has been much more aggressive, by the way. It's, it, uh, Cardano's even more, or no, Cardano's not even more aggressive. It, it has only had a 70X run because it dipped 99% of its value, and it had the worst, it was by far the most embarrassing coin in the whole crypto space throughout the bear market because it lost 99% of its value. Uh, technically, 98.77%. But anyway, um, and so Bitcoin is by far the most aggressive uh, in the whole market right now because it's, it's twice past it's accumulating at two times its all-time high and nothing else really is so anyway um, but bitcoin typically is the first mover and then it's gonna and then um, as the year goes on bitcoin dominance is gonna drop 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 it could go down to 38 people um it really could uh and if we go to coin market cap here if we go to coin market cap and go to Where's Bitcoin dominance here? I know you can do this on trading view, but I don't know how to do it off the fly. Well, this is not Bitcoin dominance. Dominance 67. Well, there's a way to graph Bitcoin dominance. So uh, over the years, Bitcoin, um, you know, was at 98%, but, but last, uh, last, uh, at the very, very beginning of the bear market, when altcoins skyrocketed as people uh, sold all of their Bitcoin quickly and crashed the price, they were buying altcoins with that Bitcoin profit, right? Um, and that's so that so if you want to, you know, know when altcoins are really going to take off at the very end, they're they're going to have their blow off tops after Bitcoin does. That's the, that's the very most likely situation because that's what exactly what happened last time because it makes sense. The institutional investors, hedge funds, are going to take you know at least. A certain percentage of their uh, profits in Bitcoin, and they're gonna, you know, skyrocket the price of of, of all coins, Ethereum, Cardano, and even smaller altcoins, perhaps something like Neo or VeChain, right? Um, but anyway, so what the most likely situation uh, that I think is gonna play out is this uh, twelve sixty level. Uh, price is going to consolidate, 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 and as it's consolidating, this weekly 21 is going to move up, move up, move up. It'll get to 1260, price will hit it, and it'll go up. So I think that's what's playing out um, on the Bitcoin chart. Um, this is a key level. I mean, the chance of Bitcoin coming down to hit uh, 39, um, 5, uh, or 40,000 is extremely high. Um, 
and the same four hour principles playing out even though the four hour uh, death cross is not uh, playing out the exact same way yet because it's following uh, it's following F so see this blue line is like three thousand dollars above uh, this however it's doing the same thing it's coming up doing a fake out and the fake out is exactly at the breakout point right so I made a video three days ago when price was down here I said hey once price gets to 52 570 and closes a four hour candle above it the likelihood of a breakout happening and to the moon from there is extremely high so what did price do the bots drove price up exactly to where exactly to that point and it actually went above it by a few dollars but did it close a four hour candle no it did not and now what's happening it's going down so price is very 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 likely going to check this line down here okay this is the four hour chart um, and this is what it looks like. So see all this resistance and price action over here? It's, it's going to come down and check it. And if you do something like the monthly and you put on what is called Bollinger Bands, here is the no-brainer way. Let's see if I've done this right. Here's the no-brainer way. 100% of time, 100 with zero exceptions, that Bitcoin trends above the top Bollinger Band, it comes down to check the top, uh, the top line or go below it, okay? 100% of the time throughout all of price history, forever and ever, always. Okay, so look, trending above, trending above, next month went down below, trending above, trending above, went down below, trending above, trending above, trending above, the next month, the candle closed there. So this is the each of these candles is a month. So we've been trending above for, for a while now. So the chance of something like this, so see these two candles here? Chance of this happening is very high. That almost exact formation. Like literally, I mean, look at this. Uh, so actually you, you take this red and move up the candle body about here. And that that is probably what's gonna be playing out here. We're gonna have a little bit of grain and we have 27 days left in this month. Look people, so, the, so a lot of bots, so this is kind of a trading tactic and it happens on the four hour, it happens on the daily, and it happens on the weekly. So what bots do is at the very beginning, let's say we're thinking daily and we're, at, we're having a lot of green days. At the start of the new day, when it hits zero, 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 the bots like to make a run on price to make it green, make it look bullish. They get the day traders to start buying, making longs, and then they crash it. And on the monthly candle, that's that's you know uh, that's what happened here. That's what happened here. Uh, that, that's that's what I'm saying. But it happens a lot on the four hour, and the daily, and the weekly. Um, so at the very beginning of the week, you know, for the first two days, the bots will raise it and they'll crash it. That's what makes a red candle with a body up high um, uh, happen. So, so anyway, um, it's the very beginning of the month. Bots are faking people out, and it's really based off of the four hour uh, death cross on Ethereum, and. 100% of the time, with zero exceptions, throughout the whole price history of Bitcoin, price has come down to check and actually dip below the top Bollinger Band, which is here at 40,100. So that's your 39.5 level, dipping below it. So this can this month candle, the likelihood of it being red is, has it ever trended above for two full candles and dip below on the third? Yes, it has. So, I mean, it, it, it could, it could, uh, it might be next month, people. Um, this might, so what this would do, if price really, uh, so it, it could wait uh, and keep going up here um, and allowing this Bollinger Band to come up higher and then crash down into it. So if it does that and it goes up here, the Bollinger Band gets to here, 45,000. So best case scenario, 45,000, because this is a 100% rule, okay? 100%, it's played out. So you're either looking at 45,000 or 39,5, or, you know, around, so 40 to, or 45,000, those two points, the likelihood of, of the 100% rule maintaining its rule is extremely high. You know, I can't put a percentage to that, but 
the likelihood of some 100% rule becoming a not 100% rule is pretty low. <laughs> so th this is what you're looking at, people. And on the micro scale, the four hour is what is telling you, you know, how that that's make that's uh, allowing you to do um, your your quicker calls. Okay, on the four hour chart on Ethereum, that is what will guide you um, in your uh, in your in your calls. So. Yeah, price four hour uh, came above the death cross coming down. So this is what it looks like on the micro scale, okay? Uh, and that's and the previous candles were monthly. So that's what's happening. Let's take a look at Cardano. I've already covered that, um, but um, uh, I think what's going to happen is at bare minimum, um, Cardano is going to come down to eighty three cents, and then uh, my actual guess is sixty seven cents. I think it'll hit. Uh, those are perpetual futures. I need to get on Binance. Okay, so, well, my computer just locked up. Uh, here we go. So let's go on the weekly, because really good decisions are made on the weekly. So Cardano's been trending really high above its Bollinger Band. So if you look throughout all of price history, when do you see ever Cardano trending above its Bollinger, top line Bollinger Band? When? Once here and, and now. That's it in four and a half years, right? Because it's been bearish almost its whole life, which is why I find it so surprising that people love Cardano so much because it's been, it's been bearish like literally 65% of its life, maybe 70%, and it lost 99% of its value, right? Uh, but, you know, it's a great project, but there's a lot of money in it, and it, in my opinion, it's a little too much, even though it's, you know, fantastic, it, you know, could change the world, you know, like Ethereum has whatever but at some point you gotta you gotta realize maybe too many investors have thrown money at it and i you know that that that, that would be why it lost 99 percent of its value because uh kind of like uh, elon musk tweeted uh tesla stock is overvalued people be careful you know that's i think that's what's happening here great product tesla but it's overpriced period and elon even tried to warn uh, investors and what did the price do kept going up <laughs> and now it's going to crash but it'll probably correct 50 percent um but but anyway um yeah so cardano um so here's your six uh, maybe 66 cents i said 63 so your two levels that it'll probably come down to same rules is you look at um you look left so look at all these candles here and it lines up almost perfectly with these candles over here so 60 66 cents or 83 so that's your range it's going to hit one of the, the chance of price going to or between those ranges is probably 80 percent most of the non so most of the rest of the 20 percent is going below it so there isn't a super high chance that the price stays above it people so if you're bullish on cardano and buying now just know that's the statistics it's more like, so 80 percent chance between 83 cents and 67 cents uh but the rest of that 20% to 100, most of it is below it, okay? Um, I mean, down to the mid-50s. So it's possible that um, it, it dips below its yellow. So if price kind of slowly goes down here as this slowly comes up, the chance of price dipping below it a little bit is that last 20%. I mean, most of that last 20%. Yeah, there might be 5% chance it stays above there, but it's extremely, extremely unlikely, folks. It's just trading. And um, the bots allowed retail amateur buyers who don't understand market cap for the most part. Um, you know, they just see a dollar and they start buying Cardano, right? Because it's cheap, even though it's it's market. It's now Cardano uh, is now more valuable than Ford Motor Company and it hasn't sold a single anything. And it has zero dollars of revenue, which is kind of scary, but great project overvalued. But anyway, um, bots allowed people to do this. And now bots are going to take control and they're going to drive price down. That's exactly what's going to happen. So if you're a Cardano holder, just even if you think I'm wrong, you think it's going to go straight to $3. I understand your uh, enthusiasm at the same rate, you know, leave what I'm saying in the back of your mind as a possibility. Um, and actually, you should think of it as a likelihood <laughs> because it's it's what's going to happen. Um, but there's a small chance that it doesn't. Um, so, you know, um, 
I know that passion for a project, especially when you've invested in it, you know, you, you, you're you willing something to go up. I want it to go up. Well, in the market, what you want doesn't matter. So, you know, you need to uh, manage your expectations um, according to things that aren't your rules. Don't make your own rules. That's a good way to get wrecked. Play, play by the rules in the charts, in the bots. The bots and the charts, you play by their rules. If you play by your rules, you're going to lose your money drastically. And look what happened to Cardano holders last run. Playing by their own rules, Cardano's going to change the world, people. Cardano's going to change the world. 99 point, line it up perfectly, 99.79% of their value. So $100, okay, became a $1.21. $100 became $1.21 playing by their own rules. So don't play by your own rules. Don't will something up. Don't wish something up. <sighs> Forget about your own rules and start thinking about what the charts are saying and and, uh, and what the bots are going to do in the charts because the, bot, the bots are following charting rules, right? So, um, and I'm only saying this, I'm not bashing on Cardano people. I'm trying to help you not lose your money. I don't want you to lose your money because if you lose your money, you're not going to come back to this special space of crypto. And in 10 years, the crypto space is going to be rivaling Forex, S&P 500, and NASDAQ. It's going to rival it. And if you get washed out and wrecked because you're playing by your own rules and you don't come back to the space, you're going to miss out on an amazing opportunity, like to have a healthy retirement, put kids through college, whatever your situation is, um, you're going to miss out if you get wrecked now. Um, and you probably won't get wrecked now now because we're in a bull market, but once the bull market's over, if you're playing by your own rules, you're, you're going to lose 99% of your money. Just like everybody who held Cardano thinking it's going to change the world because they're watching Charles Hoskinson on YouTube making promises for four and a half years. Um, so great project, but I don't want you to lose your money and get washed out and not come back because I, I, you know, I'm doing this for the children, right? If you have kids, I'm doing this for your children. <laughs> I want them to be able to go for to college all paid for. <clears throat> and uh, drive a Hummer too to you know to college and stuff. So anyway, um, that is price action. Uh, it's the same as the last video. Uh, it's just playing out, people. Those are the key levels to look out for. Stay safe in crypto. I want you all to come back. Don't get wrecked, you know. And if you're super bullish when I'm saying something different, uh, just you know, uh, keep me as your devil, you know. So you're the angel on this side. Keep keep my devil on your shoulder, you know, talking into the other ear, and just make sure you're listening to some degree, okay? Because you know, I think I'm a bear right now. I'm only a short-term bear. They're a month of March. I'm a, I'm a March bear, and then I think April's going to be glorious. I, and I and it'll probably be glorious till July. <sighs> like Bitcoin can scream right up to 110,000 uh, bucks before crashing 30,000 bucks, 40,000 bucks, um, and correcting and touching its 21 uh, weekly moving average again, or the 10. Um, but anyway, um, so just just hold your horses. The month of March, I think it's going to be boring, 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 and a little red. Maybe a mixture of green, uh, uh, gl glimmers, shimmers of hope to get you to buy in, and then and then you'll get your money taken. Um, but March will be boring and red, so stay safe out there. Don't lose all your money, and most importantly, be patient. Be patient. You know there are Warren Buffett quotes and other famous rich people quotes about patience and, and wealth month of march be patient if i can if you if you uh take anything away from this video it's uh be patient this month of march please and uh because i want you to come back we'll see y'all next time uh, my crypto crackheads and cryptilians this is tim and you just got timified <laughs>